Okay. In this video, we're going to talk about the motion equations that describe motion with constant acceleration. Well, we just learned that the velocity graph of something that is accelerating at a constant rate is linear. So if we plot that line on the velocity graph, the general equation is y equals mx plus b. b is the y-intercept, which is just the initial velocity of the object. m is the slope, and x is t on the x-axis, and y is whatever the final velocity is. So our first kinematics equation is an equation for the velocity of an object at any instant in time, if you know its initial velocity. Final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration times time. The other kinematics equation we know is we know what the shape of a position time graph is for something that's undergoing constant acceleration. It's a parabola. So if we look at this parabola and we were to graph this function, it turns out that the position at any time is equal to the initial position plus the initial velocity at any time times t plus one half of the acceleration times t squared. And that is a parabolic equation or a quadratic and that is the function that represents this graph. So we have a position function as well. We can combine the formula for average velocity, which is just one half of final velocity plus initial velocity, with our uh, position function, and we can come up with another one, x equals xo plus one half of vo plus vt, where vo and XO are initial position and velocity, and V and X are final velocity and position. And if we combine the velocity function and the uh, position function, we can come up with another equation that says final velocity squared equals initial velocity squared plus 2 times A times X. In short, we have one, two, three, four, five equations that we can use to find e velocity, time, acceleration, position. Each equation is missing a piece of information. For example, V equals initial velocity plus AT is missing any information about X. Or the position function doesn't have anything about, uh, this first position function doesn't have anything about acceleration in it. The second position function doesn't have final velocity in it. And the last function, vf squared equals vi squared plus 2ax, doesn't have anything about time in it. So we have some tools to our discretion to solve word problems. And in the um, solutions to the sample kinematics equations, <coughs> or excuse me, problems, you will see how these equations are used. Also, the physics classroom does a really good job showing you how they're used as well.